Thank you, President Officer. First Minister, it's now two years since my constituent Kirsty Maxwell died in Benidorm. And as you've met with Kirsty's family, uh, I know you're well aware of their ordeal. Now, notwithstanding the central role for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, I believe that there is more that we can do in this Parliament to support families like Kirsty's who have had a loved one killed abroad. Therefore, I wonder, will the First Minister commit to ensuring that before this year is out, that we can offer families, families like Kirsty's, something more than our condolences, like a service that provides practical, emotional and perhaps even financial support? First Minister. Um, yes, I agree very much with Angela Constance's uh, comments. Um, can I take the opportunity once again to pass on my sincere condolences to the family of Kirsty Maxwell. My thoughts uh, are with them at this very, very difficult time. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Justice and I have met with Kirsty's family and indeed with other families who have been affected by the death of a loved one abroad. And from hearing uh, their experiences directly, I am of the view similar to that expressed by Angela Constance that the current system of support is not entirely satisfactory. Uh, I am very keen that we continue to explore the issue further, particularly in the context of the Victims Task Force and the forthcoming report from the All-Party UK Parliamentary Group on Deaths Abroad and Consular Services. Any improvements, of course, will require change across a number of services, and I would continue to welcome input from members and stakeholders as to how this might best be achieved. Um, I think all of us want to make sure uh, that we do hear these experiences and that we do everything within our power to ease as far as we possibly can the suffering of families in these circumstances.